Globular clusters are found in all galaxies, some orbiting in the galaxy halo, and for disk galaxies, some orbit in the disk. Each of these spiral galaxies are surrounded by a halo of stars and globular clusters. Many of the tiny bright objects seen in the halo of these galaxies are actually globular clusters. Globular clusters are dense stellar systems bound by their own self-gravity. The number of stars in typical globular clusters range from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands, even up to a few million for the most massive systems. This simulation of a globular cluster evolution illustrates some of the physical processes taking place in globular clusters and shows how these systems evolve. The green bar indicates a distance of one parsec within the simulation. Having started near the center of the cluster, individual stars can easily be seen and followed. As we pull away, trails are added to help visualize the path of individual stars. This green line demarcates 10 parsecs. The arrows indicate the direction of the cluster's orbit around the galactic center. Two tidal tails begin to emerge from the top and bottom of the clusters. This image shows the observed tidal tails of a small globular cluster currently 18,000 parsecs from the center of the Milky Way. As the cluster evolves, it slowly evaporates. This is a result of gravitational interactions with other stars in the system. Some stars gain enough energy to escape the cluster and populate the two tidal tails above and below the cluster. The central density graph in the upper left corner reveals how the energy released by binary stars can halt the core collapse. As a cluster continues to evolve, its internal structural and kinematical properties change. In particular, during part of a cluster evolution, the central core contracts and becomes increasingly dense. In this visualization, the internal structure of the cluster and its radial density variation are hidden by the outer stars. The outer stars are visually removed to reveal the cluster structure in the central high density regions where close interactions between binary and single stars occur. When the cluster reaches a sufficiently high central density, close interactions between binary stars and single stars become more and more frequent. Compact binary stars will become even more compact as a result of these interactions and release energy, increasing the kinetic energy associated with the motion of the single star and that of the binary center of mass. Similar to the nuclear reactions in the center of stars, binary stars act as an energy source in the central regions of a globular cluster and halt the collapse of the cluster core. These sequences show the details of some of these binary single star interactions. Occasionally, during an interaction, a binary star system may exchange one of its initial components with the interacting single star. The simulation also shows more complex interactions between triple system and a binary system that can occur in the cluster's central region. Globular clusters play a key role in many areas of research in astronomy, including stellar evolution, stellar dynamics, galaxy formation, and evolution. These simulations were run on Indiana University's Big Red 2 Cray supercomputer. <laughs>